guys so as i said before i showed you earlier on and um, the first part of this video was the six piece of data skirt and this part is the blouse i'm not able to show you the picture of the style but i will show you um either before this section of the video or i'll show you after this section of the video one of those but i'll show you the finish at fit so this is for the blouse I'm going to show you how I cut the blouse because the blouse is going to be in a six piece blouse form but without no um, flare at the front but the back has a peplum so it's very much like a half peplum blouse um, at the back but the front is straight so I'm going to show you first of all I'm going to draft it in a paper because I don't want to waste the fabric so I'm going to I'm draft it in the paper and I'll show you how I draft it. Paper to cut it out. As you already know, this is the lining I'm going to be using for the um, blouse. This is the remaining fabric. It's the same fabric. So I'm going to be telling you the measurement we are going to be using to draft um, the blouse. So you are going to be needing your bust measurement, your waist measurement, your shoulder measurement, your shoulder to under bust measurement, your shoulder to um, bust point measurement, um, your shoulder to waist measurement, if I haven't measured that already, if I haven't measured it, the length of the blouse, um, your ham hole length, which is practically your chest line, which is shoulder to your chest line. Um, probably need the hip measurement, maybe at the bottom of the blouse, you may, you may not need it, but at the bottom of the blouse. As I said earlier on, the blouse, the back of the blouse have a peplum. So the peplum is only at the back of the blouse. The front of the blouse is straight. So, um, what else? We need um, your ham hole if it's needed. Um, your sleeve length, if you need your sleeve length. Your arm, which is some um, round sleeve, um, if it's needed. Uh, yeah, that's it. So, I'm going to start. So, what I've done to the um, paper I'm going to be using, the pattern paper, I've already marked out a two inches zip allowance for the back. And off, so this is the it's two piece of paper here. That is the front, and this one here is the back. And here I've already marked two inches zip allowance. And on top here is a one inch guideline, which I always do. At the bottom here is 26. The length of the blouse is 25, plus one inch for sewing allowance, which is 26. So from this point here to this point here is 26. So what I'm going to do first, I'm just going to mark down all the, um, I don't know if it's vertical line they call it, or horizontal line, whichever they call it. But I'm going to be measuring it, um, shoulder to um, bust point. I'll start with shoulder to bust point. Shoulder to bust point is 12. So I mark down shoulder to bust point, 12 here. Shoulder to on the bust. Shoulder to on the bust is 15. So I mark it down here. Shoulder to waist is 18. So I mark it down here. And the rest here is just the length of the blouse. Also, I'm going to mark down shoulder to chest line. It's 9. So I mark it down there. So I'll take my ruler and I'll just draw a straight line. I'll draw a straight line on all the points I've marked down and I will label all of them the way they are. So I'm just drawing a straight line. And I'm going to label all of them the way they are, or what they are rather. So here is your chest line. Here is your bust point. Here is your under bust. Here is your waistline. 
okay so i've marked them i've marked them all down so i'm going to now mark down the shoulder the shoulder of the person is 16 so 16 divided um into two is eight oops so i'm going to mark down eight half of 16 half of 16 is what you need to measure them half of 16 is eight so i'm marking it down on the one inch guideline okay so from that point i'm just going to connect the line to make the chest line okay um on to draft you need your you need a rule um if you want to draft a pattern you need pencil and of course you need an eraser in case you make a mistake you can always erase it out in case you make a mistake so that's why sometimes it's good to draft first before you cut the fabric so on the shoulder points here i'm going to come down one inch for the shoulder slope as usual normal standard one inch shoulder slope for the neck i'm going to be using four four inches for the neck the back neck is high so the back neck i'm only going to just be using one and a half inch because it's a high back neck okay so i'm only going to be using um one inch drop for the front i'm going to be using i'm going to be using um three and a half inch drop and then you can take your ruler and connect it just take your ruler and connect the line properly okay so the back one as well the back is quite high so you just connect it as well okay so what i'm going to do because the neck is a little bit slanted like i see if it's a bit of a canoe neck but it's not really canoe neck so remember i measured four here i'm going to just measure half an inches here so i'm widening the neck slightly by half an inch because on this thigh the neck is a bit like as if it's a canoe neck so i'm just free handing it to meet the original four um three and a half that i originally cut so from here i just connect it again to the back one so when i want to cut it i will cut this one first the first one first so i just leave this one down because i need to shake this tie again before i cut that so the style is on my phone so i'm not able to i'm just remembering the style from my memory so i'm just drawing it the way i can remember it so from here i'm connecting the shoulder slope to the shoulder okay so that's the shoulder slope okay now i'm going to mark down all the um measurement the bust the waist on the bust hip all those measurements i'm going to mark all of them down now so the bust is 42 42 divided by four so i'm going to be using my measurement tape because i don't have the calculator here so i just place my measurement tape on 42 press it together bring it back again in case you can't calculate it offered this is what i do in case you don't have a calculator so i bring it back again i press it 
and that will give you 10.5 hopefully I'm correct so I'm going to mark down 10.5 on the bust line so I'll mark down 10.5 here okay so I'm going to connect this line up here later so on the underboss, the underboss is some um, underboss measurement um, let me quickly look for it underboss measurement oh dear underboss measurement is 35 so 35, I take my my measurement tape again, bring it to 35, press it hard, bring it back again, bring it back, and then press it again. Press it, that's it. And then it's giving me roughly about nine so i'm just going to use nine i think it's giving me 8.75 but i'm going to use nine i'm going to sew it out anyway so i use nine so on the waist the waist is 38 divided by four is 9.5 you can do the same you can crest it it's 9.5 let me just press it just to make sure that it's Correct, so 38, you bring your measurement tape to 38, just like so, press it, take it back to 38, press it again, just like so, press it really hard so that when you open it, you get the crest, so you open it out, and then it give you 9.5, so the waist is 9.5, as you can see, I'm placing the measurement tape at the beginning of where the two inches not at the very two inches point for the zip just after the two inches allowance for the zip so I mark it down there okay so now the nipple to nipple which is um, I don't know how you call it but I call it nipple to nipple is eight so on this bust point here, what I do, sometimes I just mark all the 8 first before I come down. So I'm just going to 8 divided into 2 is 4 plus half an inches sewing allowance is 4 and a half. So I'm just going to mark down the 4 and a half all the way down first. Then we get to the next point. So 4 and a half. Just mark it all the way down. Okay, so I've marked four and a half all the way down here. I'm just going to connect all the line together. Okay, so I've connected all the lines together, four and a half. So now, from this um, um, shoulder here, from the slanted shoulder, that's the shoulder slope, I'm going to mark the remaining, measure the remaining, which is eight. So once I measure the remaining is eight, half of eight is four. So that's the four points there. So from the bust point, this is the bust point here. I come down by half an inches. I come down by half an inch. So that's the half an inch here. Just so you know, this is the half an inch. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is from this half an inch, let me just draw. Okay, so I know this is here, it's now the boss point. Okay, so I'm just going to connect this um, on the boss line. I want to connect it to meet the four and a half inch and the waist one as well. Okay, so from this on the boss, I'm going to go in half an inches. I'm going to go in by half an inches on the under the bust. On the waist, I'm going to go in by one 
inch. So that is on the side. So on the inside as well to the front, which is the middle front, remember this is on fold. This is on fold. You have to cut this on fold. On fold. So here as well, I'm going to come in by half an inch as well. And I'm going to come in by one, mm, let me come in by half an inch as so we're here. Okay, so I'm going to take my ruler and just connect the points from the boss point to this half an inch here. And then to the one inch of the waist here. And I'm going to do the same on this side. So I'm just connecting the points together. Okay, so from there, I'm just going to connect it to the very bottom here, which is the length of the blouse. And do the same on this side as well. Of course, you can come in more. You can come in more. On this waist part here, you can come in more so I think I'm going to come in more I'm going to do the same one inch let me put it as one inch as well so the curve look more nicer when I finish sewing it so I'm just going to come in more so at the end of the day I've made it one inch on both sides so that's why I said it's good sometimes to draft it first so I'm using one inch I'm just erasing it out with the eraser. Okay, so I think it looks better like this. Okay, so now what I'm going to remember, I haven't had any allowance yet. So, what I'm going to do now that I have done this, I'm just going to transfer all this. So, from here to here, if I've taken one inch out, that's from underneath the underbust. I've taken one inches as I transfer the one inches here. I'll do the same to this one. I take it two inches off, so I transfer the two inches here. Okay, so now what I'm now going to do now, I'm going to add um, sewing allowance. So I can add on the bust. I think I'm just going to add, um, maybe I should add two and a half inches sewing allowance to all of it let's see if two and a half inches should be all right okay so i decided to add two and a half inches to all of it i hope you understand what i did here so what i practically did was that the nipple to nipple is um is eight divided by two is four plus half an inches so that is the line from here to here this straight line here is the nipple to nipple and then this from here to here is the bust measurement and this is just the allowance from here to here is the under bust measurement because i'm going to be removing one inch from here i've put the one inch back here plus one two and a half seam allowance the same thing i've done on the waistline i've removed two inches from the waistline so i've added it back to the waistline plus two and a half inch um, sewing allowance and then what I'm going to do now from this point here I'm going to connect it to the half of the ham hole so I take my ruler I take my ruler just like so 
and then I'll connect it together so I've connected them together hope you can see what I have done I've connected together so on this point here I'm going to come out by one inches so I'm just going to measure one inches outward okay so the one inches can be high up there just to get the one inches so I just mark it out just to make sure it's one inch okay the one inches end here so I can take my eraser and just wipe that off okay so that's the one inch there because we have to draw a new ham hole okay so that's the one inch there so what we are going to do now is I'm going to connect connect all the lines together to the hip here so from here to here is the hip measurement so that's why I say you might need the person's hip measurement and the hip measurement is 46 46 divided by um, 4 if you don't have your calculator just do what I'm doing if you don't have a calculator do what I'm doing you just fold it and fold it again and then it gives me the what I want 11.5 so from here I measure 11.5 if not sometimes if you don't use the hip measurement for the bottom of the blouse sometimes the bottom of the blouse become too tight for the person so from there I'm just going to add I'm going to either have two and a half inches or I had three inches. You can always sew it out. So I had a three inches to the bottom of the blouse. You can always sew it out. So now I just connect all the lines together with my ruler. As you can see what I'm about to do here. Connect all the lines together. Let me just draw this one in as well. So I connect all the lines. I'm connecting all the lines together now. So because our body is not pointing, so I'm going to use the ruler to draw a nice smooth um, curve on the underbust point. Because our body is not pointing, so I'm just going to draw a smooth curve around this point here. Because I'm drawing on the other side, I'm a bit... okay and this is the bust here sometimes you don't have to draw it this way sometimes you can just use only the bust measurement the waist measurement and you just come up and you just come up like that so you can either draw it straight like this straight line like that or you can define you can define it if you want anyway anyhow you do it you still have to sew it that the bust the on the bust is fitting when the person wears it okay so anyhow you cut it out just remember you have to sew you have to sew the allowance out so that it's fitting properly okay so now i'm going to connect this line here to this line here and I'll take my ruler and just take my ruler to connect it so that's it so I take my ruler and I connected the lines so as I said you can either cut this first one like so or you can cut the straight one because in true honesty this is the person's measurement everything here so you can either go this way 
and go this way. Some people have very small bust, and when you draw their, when you put their measurement on the paper, when you want to connect all the lines, sometimes it looks funny, but it's correct. It's correct because you don't want to cut it too big, and then when you finish sewing it, it becomes so big that you keep doing adjustment, adjustment. You don't want that. So, as I say, I can choose to cut this one, which is the true um, measurement, or I can cut just a bit here. So when I'm sewing it, I sew it and I slant my hand that way and sew that way. Okay, so this is it here. So what I need to do now is cut it out. I cut it out and I'll use this to cut the fabric. So I'll show you how I cut both of them together. First of all, what I do is I cut the back first before I cut the front. So I'm going to cut it now. Okay, so I cut the back first before I cut the front. So this is how I cut the back. Because we don't have um, bust in our back, so I just cut it like this. cut it and then I cut the shoulder the shoulder slant make sure that you are the paper is correct so I cut the shoulder slant okay for the neck I'm leaving the neck first I need to cross check this tie before I cut the neck. But if the neck is okay, all you need to do is just cut the neck off first off. So, that's how I cut the back. Sometimes I cut a bit of this for the back, but I'm not going to do that on this one. I'm just going to cut it only at the front. So I cut the armhole out, the armhole area, I cut it out. I'm still cutting the back so I'm going to cut this one because I'm going to sew it out so you can do the same you can do it like this and then when you are sewing you just sew it like that and sew it that way so you make sure you sew it to the shape of the person so when we it it's really nice and fitting in their body okay so I've decided to cut that one so now I've cut the back. So all I need to do is sew the back together. I'm going to cut the back neck because the back neck is a high back anyway. It's the front back, the front um, neck. I need to cross check before I cut it out. So I'm just going to cut the back. I'm going to cut it on the first one first. When I cross check the style later, I can extend it just to make sure that I don't cut the neck too um, wide. So that's it. So this is the front one which I'm going to cut now. This is the back one. So this is the back. You sew normally you sew it from the bottom point here. You sew it from the from the bottom here. Okay. You sew it there. This extra one inch is in case when you are sewing it, it's not enough. This will help to make it equal. So the back of the style, 
the back has a, a peplum a flare I don't know what to call it a peplum flare so what I'm going to do to the back is I'm going to shorten the back so I'm going to use the waist measurement so from shoulder to the waist is 18 because I need to shorten the back because the back has a peplum it's 18 but I need sewing allowance to sew it to sew the peplum to it and another sewing allowance to join it up there so I'm going to be cutting it 19 you can do this after you've joined this together then cut it off but that will mean you are cutting the fabric you are going to cut all the fabric away as well so you can either do it now or do it when you join them together so in total i've measured 19. okay so what i need to do now is just cut this one away i'm not going to cut it exactly where i mark it just a little bit of where i marked That just in case when I'm sewing it I need to do any adjustments I will still keep this so this is what I need for the back because I'm going to be putting a peplum remember you are going to be cutting two of this two of that remember that okay so that is the back so for the front for the front I just cut out the the that section so I cut it out Okay, so that's the front. I cut that one out. So I take the other one as well and I cut it out. Okay, so this is the front. Remember, this is going to be cut on the fold. You have to cut it on the fold. So when you open it, it becomes one big piece. And then you are going to cut two of this one. So you join it together from the bottom. Can you see it now? Remember when you are joining it, the boss point has to meet here. That's the boss point there. So you can, you can either notch it or use needle and thread to notch it. And this is the waist here. So when you are sewing it, you need to sew it that this is here. And this is here. Everything mashes together. You understand? And this will be once you join it together, it will come out really nice. Okay, so this is the front. The front doesn't have any peplum. The front is just straight like this. No peplum. Okay, guys. So this is the end of this um, drafting um, tutorial. So I'm going to take this. And this is the front, so you need to cut two pieces of that, one piece of this, two pieces of this, two pieces of this, that's the back. So I'm going to take this and cut the fabric. All right, guys, so I'm quickly going to show you how I cut the um, fabric out. I've already gone ahead to place all the piece on the lining, as you can see. This is the back one, so I'm going to cut two. This is the back, uh, middle back, I'm going to cut two. This is the front side. So this is the back, the side of the back. This is the front, the side of the front, I'm cutting two. And this is the front here, remember you have to cut it on the fold. You have to cut it on the fold. So I've pinned it out so it doesn't shift when I am cutting it. So I'm going to cut it out. Once I cut it out, I'm going to take the fabric, this is the fabric, and also take it to cut the fabric before I sew it. So let me quickly cut it out so you can see how I cut it out. You can see how I lay the piece together. So you want to lay your piece like this as well. Uh, and the neck, I have a look at 
the style of the, the style already. So the neck is much wider at the front and at the back, the neck is much lower. So I'm going to be lowering the back neck and I'm going to be cutting the wideness of this for the front and the back as well. So I'm going to be doing the adjustments for the neck. So this is just the lining I'm cutting out. So I've cut the middle front. I'm going to cut the side front now. Okay, so this is the side front. Here's the side front. So I'm going to cut the middle back, which is that one there. Just cut one more last piece. So this is the side back. Remember they are in two pieces. This is in two pieces. Okay guys, so I've cut it out, so I've cut it out, this is the side back, this is the middle front, it's cut on the fold, as you can see I cut it on the fold, because we need to cut it on the fold, this is the middle back. So I'm going to adjust the neck now because the neck is much lower at the back and it's much wider as well at the front. So let me just trim this off. to place them together I'm going to place them together so I can do the adjustment for the neck so that both neck will be equal okay so for the back the neck is quite low low uh, actually I think the neck in the back and the front is almost the same thing but I'm not going to cut the back that low. I'm just going to come down here. This is like, remember I've already taken one and a half inches off. So I'm going to take another one. I'm going to take another two inches off. So I take two inches off. I just use the pin to mark it. So I'm cutting two inches off the back extra two inches so so for them is i've cut three and a half inches off 
and the neck is wide so I'm going to go in like that okay so I'm going to do the same to the front one I need to cut the front one out now so this is the front one I'm cutting out okay guys so I've adjusted the neck in the back and the neck in the front so let me open the mid front so you see that if I cut it on the fold these ones they are in two piece they are in two piece as you can see they are in two piece okay okay guys let me just quickly open this and show you and that will be the ending of this I'll just take this I'll take this the, just the way I lay it out to cut the fabric so let me open this middle front so you can see it can you see it now so that's how you cut it okay so when I want to sew I'll sew half an inch is there all the way there when I'm turning it with the actual fabric so this one is the front and this one it's in two pieces as well as you can see it's in two piece as well two piece it's only the middle front you need to cut one piece on fold because you are cutting it on the fold of the fabric so this will go here this will be attached to here from the bottom like so if i remove the pin you probably see the fabric okay guys okay so this is the end of the tutorial for the cutting of the blouse um maybe i will show you guys how i cut the um the peplum because the peplum is like a well the part that got the zip is much lower than the side so maybe I'll show you where I cut the peplum later. Alright guys.